right, so I'm here with Adam from Howell's Gun Shop and Range, and uh, we talked to Adam on the podcast, but we're actually looking at the range itself now. This is range one. Range two is a little bit different. Um, as you can see, I mean, it's very, very modern. All the, the things that you would need. And like you said in the audio, you went around to different ranges and kind of picked what was the best thing you saw. For sure. We tried to, uh, we may not be the smartest, but we can play drives with the best of them. <laughs> So this is the action target system. Yep. Um, you can program on the other one, you can program to do drills and stuff like that. Like we did, you'll see in the video, we did one where the target went down, it twisted sideways, and then it came at you, and then it twisted again. Yep. And it would get more complex too, there will be stuff that's a little bit more complex than that. Yep. So, yeah, in that range you can pre-program a bunch of drills. This is more of just an in and out. Um, the range construction is basically the same in both of them. Uh, one thing that was an option that we did up with, I don't know if you can see it, it's the gray acoustical panels on the walls. Uh, a lot of the noise in ranges are right where the gun goes off, um, and this is also, our retail is right there. So if we were to shoot right here, they wouldn't hear us out there, which is a big, uh, big help. Um, it deadens everything. I mean, I was just shooting in the other range, and there was a guy in the next bay over at an AR, and it wasn't as loud as you would expect it to be. So, what, uh, Structurally wise, what we did was we widened all of our lanes. We could we could have crammed in a couple more lanes, uh, but we went with the wider in case we get some wheelchair patrons or, or if we just need some people to sit and bench rest. So all these are wide enough to fit any ADA wheelchair that uh, is out there. We also uh, these are removable tables, so if you wanted to rest or get rid of it completely, if you're holster qualified, uh, you can get this table right out of the way, uh, so don't have to worry about that. We went with optional LEDs in every range. They get really bright. Uh, a big complaint that we had seen that we tried to avoid was not being able to see your sights inside an indoor range. And it is plenty bright in here. Yeah. Um, good. Yeah, it's very nice. So I definitely recommend you come check it out. 81 West Gray Road in Gray, Maine. Howell's Gun Shop, Indoor Range and Firearms Academy. Now, normally we wouldn't advise this on a live line. <laughs> But as you can see, um, so you got all the paneling up there going down. Now this, this stuff is angled at, what, what does this stuff do here? So what this is, is basically this is an option that we went with. We actually screwed the ceiling panels to plywood that's also attached to our baffle. So you can see right here, there's a little gap in between the plywood and the steel. So if we add a AD or something up, into our baffles, it'll penetrate that and splatter against the steel, so there's no chance of a bullet fragment or ricochet going back down. It's all contained in here, and then it sifts out the end. The baffles in here, you can see, are spaced out. You can see the ceiling. It's because this is our static range. You'll only be firing from the firing line. So from the firing line, you can't see the actual ceiling. Right. On top of this ceiling, there's four inches of concrete and three inches of rubber. Uh, total containment building, we just went that extra step with the safety balance. And then down here you've got your containment system. So this is where the magic happens. No matter where you head here, it's going to finish in that center crease. The bullet's going to spin around, it's like a glorified steel trap, and it drops into totally sealed buckets, so there's no lead exposure to anybody at any point in the building. Nice. Yeah, it's very, very nice in here. I mean, clean, sophisticated, all the safety precautions, well lit. That's yeah. the biggest thing, really. I mean, and this is not a view that you normally get. This is not where you want to be. <laughs> but yeah, very, very nice. 